so we got the chassis all finished up here. We'll take a little bit of a break from the time lapses. So you can see that the chassis is all put together and the front and rear ends are on, as well as the Tamiya motor installed. Um, now to switch it up a little bit, uh, we are going to put some different electronics in it. Um, this is a car that's probably not going to be driven a lot, so it's probably going to sit on the shelf more than it's going to be driven. Um, so we went ahead and just did some entry level electronics. Um, to start, I went ahead and went with the Tactic TSX40 High Torque Metal Gear Servo. I just ordered this from uh, Tower Hobbies. Um, nothing too crazy, but it will get the job done for what we need it to. And then for the transmitter, um, I went ahead and ordered the Spectrum STX3. Uh, this is a 3 channel 2.4 GHz radio system. Um, this kit does come with the receiver as well. I just figured this would just be a good entry level um, transmitter and receiver option to go along with this kit. It's not too expensive, so it doesn't really break the bank, but it serves its purpose for what we need it for. So while we have the box here, um, let's go ahead and just do a quick little unboxing on it. Um, I always like doing Spectrum unboxings for some reason. I just think their radios are really high quality and I like their packaging for some reason. So let's just hop into it real quick. Nothing too crazy here. Move the box aside. All right, and here we have it. Um, the Spectrum STX3 is all wrapped up here and got some zip ties on the box. Um, but what I liked about this the best is it has the uh, throttle limiter. So you can do a 50, 75, or 100. This is great in case you have a first timer who is getting behind the wheel of a remote control car and he doesn't want to run at full speed. Um, he can limit it down to 50 um, and then they can run it however they wish. And it's also nice that it has all of the trims on here as well. So you have your, your throttle trim, your throttle rate, um, your steering rate, and your um, steering trim. And then you can adjust a couple little endpoints and different things like that. Um, and what's nice is this does come with the receiver as well. And this is a SRX 300. And again, this is a three channel uh, receiver. So this should work out pretty well for this kit. Um, again, it didn't break the bank. It's nothing too crazy, but it will get the job done for what we need it for. And the only other couple things that came in the box were um, the paperwork on it and warranty registration and your bind plug. Um, definitely going to need the bind plug for binding the transmitter to the receiver. Um, that's just a known fact for a majority of these transmitters. And this kit or this uh, transmitter does appear to take four AA batteries, so nothing too crazy. It's pretty similar to um, all the other transmitters, but. Here is the booklet for it, so definitely want to read through this, um, but nothing too crazy there.